Good morning, students. Today we'll study sugar cane top borer. That is the pest of sugar cane. Sugar cane top borer. The classification it includes: phylum Arthropoda, class Insecta, order Lepidoptera, family Pyralidae, genus Sarcophaga, species Nivella. It is widely distributed species all over the Indian subcontinent and also occurs in Indonesia, Japan and Philippines. In the figure you can see the male and the female. The upper one is the male which is pure white in color whereas the lower one is the female where the abdominal last portion is a bit reddish. This is the difference between the male and the female. It is a serious pest of sugarcane in all the grain growing areas of the country. Adult moths are creamy white in color with crimson colored anal tuft of hairs in the female. Males are slightly smaller with a wingspan of 25 to 30 mm. In the males, the front pair of wings has a single black spot on each wing. Hibernation takes place in the larval stage. This insect starts its activity with the onset of monsoon season in the northern region of the country. The eggs are laid in small batches on the underside of leaves of young plant and near the midrib in the older plants. The number of eggs per batch ranges from 10 to 80. Mass or cluster of eggs soon gets covered by hairy orange sheath. The eggs hatch in about a week in warm places, whereas in colder places it takes 10 to 12 days depending upon the temperature. The newly hatched caterpillars enters the midrib of leaf, stay there for 24 to 48 hours. After that, they enter the central leaf spindle, bores through the growing point and tunnels down 10 to 15 centimeters deep in the cane. The larva becomes fully grown in about 5 to 6 weeks. The fully grown larva pupates inside the tunnel but before pupation it makes an exit hole in the cane for the emergence of future moth. Very important. Temporarily this hole remains covered by silky threads. The pupal period lasts for 10 to 12 days after which adult emerges out. The male and female Moth then mates to lay the eggs. They may be 5 to 6 generation or 7 in a year depending upon the climatic condition of the region. This pest remain active from February to October and during winter it hibernates in the larval stage. So in the life cycle of Sarcophaga nivella, Male and female adults, they will lay the eggs. Eggs, they will hatch to caterpillars. They will form pupa and then the next adults, they will be formed. Five to seven generation in one year, it is there. Nature of damage. As the name indicates, the attack of the pest is mainly confined to the top portion of the shoot. It harms to the plant is caused mainly by the caterpillar. The growing point of the plant is seriously damaged due to the boring and feeding by the caterpillar. As a result, the central whorl of unfurled leaves dries up, forming a characteristic dead heart. The destruction to the growing point results in abnormal activation of side buds just below the growing point and leads to the formation of bunchy bunchy top see here these are the bunchy tops generally 
the newly hatched caterpillars penetrate into the midrib from the underside of the leaf and bores downwards towards the main stem or the axil after reaching the axil of the leaf the larva comes out of the midrib and bites into the whorl of newly emerged leaf forming the spindle the characteristic effect of this action is series of short holes of the leaves now the larva enters into the spindle and moves downwards to the growing point destroying the tender top portion of the plant this results in the formation of small slender reddish brown dead hearts the characteristic effect of this pest are punctures on the leaf death of the central shoot and formation of bunchy tops about 20 to 40% of destruction is caused to the crop due to this pest so see the life cycle of sarcophaga nivella that the life cycle it includes egg larva known as caterpillar pupa and adult it is a moth feeds on the top portion it is known as top borer sugarcane top borer control measures harvesting should be done by middle of february before the emergence of moth after hibernation the stumps should be dug out of the soil and destroyed mechanical control the pest can be controlled by regular collection and destruction of eggs this also reduces the density of the pest population the characteristic dead heart and bunchy top should be removed from the crop and destroyed the light traps may be used to attract the moth which are later killed egg masses and infested portion should be collected and destroyed chemical control is not satisfactory although 2% malathion endosulfane and carbofurane is timed with egg laying gives some control dusting with 10% bhc dieldrin and endrin or 3% carbofurane timed with moth emergences recommended biological control the following parasitoids have been recorded on the pest egg parasitoids tetrastichus species trichogramma species larval parasit parasitoids that is goniozoas indicus then stenobrachon then pupal parasitoids tetrastichus and xanthopimpla these are some of the examples of the biological control so my sincere thanks to www.google.com for providing us beautiful pics so that we can explain our topic well thank you